So for the composition of two functions, for function f that maps x to y and function g that maps y to z, g of f, the composition, maps x to z. Again, here you have your graph. X is mapped to Y by F, and Y is mapped to Z by G. And then their composition maps the first set to the set to the third set. So you have G of F. Recall that we said that a function is one-to-one -one or injective if a function has horizontal line test then the function is one-to-one -one or injective then we can define the inverse of the function. For example, again, going back to intermediate algebra pre-calculus, if you have a function y equals to 2x plus 1, of course, it's a one-to-one -one function. It's just a line. To find the inverse, what are you going to do? You're going to switch x and y. So x is now 2y plus 1. This is one of the methods. Then you try to isolate your y. You get x minus 1 equals to 2y, and y becomes x minus 1 divided by 2. So if your function is denoted by f, inverse of f is equal to x minus 1 divided by 2. Note that the composition of F and its inverse is identity function. So for example, in this scenario, in this example, let us compose F and its inverse. F is composed with its inverse evaluated at X. So F of inverse of F is equal to, you take your function to, instead of X, you're going to substitute the inverse, which is defined as follow, X minus one divided by two plus one. So of course you can cancel out two and two, you're left with X minus one plus one, which is just X. So the identity function is defined as, if you remember, i of x is equal to x. So f composed with its inverse is equal to i or the identity function. Just a quick theorem for you. If function f from x to y and function g from y to z are one-to-one -one functions or injective, the functions then their composition, g of f from x to z, is also injective.
if both of them are surjective, then their composition is also surjective. So I'm going to write surjective here. So you know that it applies to both. So if you have bijective functions, their composition is also bijective. 